What is going on guys, Broken Machine here. Today I hope to help out those of you out there struggling to adjust to the overall mayhem of 2042. Especially for those on next gen and PC struggling to get to grips with 128 players. If you appreciate this guide, do drop a sub. 60% of you who watch my videos and streams here on YouTube are not subscribed. So I'd appreciate that. And there is a settings guide link down below. Anyway, let's begin with my biggest tip of them all. Slow down. Stop sprinting all the time, there is no need for it, you'll likely rush into more opponents than you can deal with, and exposing yourself to too many angles. Limiting your angles of exposure is easy. Think of it like this, if you come from here, everyone inside can see you easily. Stand here, however, and nobody sees you and you've limited the angles of exposure. Keep this in mind as you move around the map. It's a very simple technique that can help you out tremendously. Also, don't rush corners. Peek more often and assess the situation ahead as much as possible. And in time, you'll get a much better feel for the flow of the game. 2042 has much more open design similar to that of BF4. Take a moment to look around ahead of you before you proceed and use cover as much as you can. As you move across the battlefield, you should always be using something to cover or conceal yourself as much as possible. A bush, a wall, a sign, whatever it is. Watch how I move around in these infantry sections. Slow it down and you'll see how often there's something in between me and where the enemies can potentially come from. Right now, I'd recommend trying a variety of weapons. However, the PP-29 SMG is one of the most popular and there is good reasons why. It is easy to use, fast and versatile. Definitely recommend checking my video on that, linked in the pinned comments below. Though I'd suggest you guys do try out the DMRs. Whatever weapon you decide to go for, highly recommend you slap a suppressor on there as this will not show you up on the minimap while firing. Once unlocked, add it into your loadout here and change up in game using the plus menu. When it comes to gadgets, definitely recommend ammo or health crates. Other options can be great depending on the situation, but you can never go wrong with extra ammo or health. Aim guide is in the works, but for now, experiment with standing still, tap and burst firing your weapons. No need to go full auto all the time unless you are super close. There is a lot of spread and bloom in this game and you'll often be punished for firing while moving, unless you have equipped an attachment that improves this. What that means is essentially you are punished for slamming the trigger, especially while moving. Stand near a wall and experiment. You can get a much better idea for how the weapons behave. Remember, in Battlefield, bullets don't instantly hit your opponents in this game. At long ranges, you will need to lead your shots more. This won't be an issue for many of the ranges you'll engage at with anything but a sniper, but it's something to keep in mind when tracking targets. When it comes to gunfights, if you have to aim, go for the head. The extra damage may be worth it. As a general rule though, if your opponent is moving, you probably should be moving. Not always, but it's a good rule to begin with. Standing still nets you an accuracy bonus. Good for medium to longer range engagements, but not too great if your opponent is already looking at you. Generally, if someone is already looking at you, a sniper for example, bail on the situation, reposition, and come back later. If you do have to engage, try spamming left to right in the middle of the gunfight. On PC, people often call this ADAD spam. Extra tip here, always be on the lookout for sniper glints before you rush across open areas. Make sure you use crouch bouncing and jump shotting to your advantage. That's where you crouch up and down or jump while in the middle of firing. Drop shooting isn't ideal as it leaves you vulnerable. Out there, you'll often see many players ADAD spamming. That's going left to right rapidly. Highly effective tactic, especially for those close range battles. When it comes to specialists, your choice depends entirely on your playstyle and what you wish to achieve. Maria and her healing abilities, Irish with his shield, Boris and his turret, and Angel with his loadouts are all excellent choices to begin with. I'll be making more guides on these shortly, but for now, I'd recommend these. The others, and in particular Sundance, is my favorite personally. More suited, however, to the aggressive player, that one, and not ideal in many situations. I'd highly recommend you try to flank as much as possible in this game. That is where you attack your opponents from the side or from behind. Recognizing flanks will come with time, but a basic tip is to go behind enemy flag areas and attack from the sides and rear. Next, unless you're a one-man army guard, avoid jumping on objectives solo. You're usually better off with your team in this game, and do take note of the heads-up display here. It shows how many players are on the objective. Use that to help decide whether you should engage or not. 
and where the players could be. For example, if you come from one side of the map and you jump on the objective and it says there's two people, they're probably on the other side of the flag. And my next tip, you gotta learn to anticipate your opponents more. I'd highly recommend you try breakthrough mode. It's more chaotic than conquest. However, your opponents will always come from one side of the map. And in this case, it's much easier to get to grips with the combat of 2042 this way. In the main menu, you can get a good feel of this mode against AI bots. A couple of rounds on that and you'll feel much more confident in your approach to the game. Kaleidoscope, for example, attackers come from here and defenders from this side. Hotspots will be inside these areas on the objectives. Most of your opponents will come from these directions, so do try to move up the map with this in mind. A map is taken and a game won by the sum of each individual soldier's actions out there on the battlefield. You cannot take the whole building by yourself, but you can push up the map here, then the wall, then behind cover, then inside, and so on. Don't try to be too clever. These bite-sized actions are what separates the players that win from those that lose. Predicting your opponent's actions, the moves they can make and where they can come from is key to surviving on the battlefield. People often call this game sense or situational awareness. If you're new to the game or just wishing to brush up on your skills, don't try to predict exactly where people are, just where they can come from. So for example, teams spawn here, enemies tend to spawn on this side of the map, so while you're approaching the area, be ready for players to come from these directions. Keep doing that game after game and taking notes of the cover on objectives and how they tend to play. And over time, you'll be able to predict more easily what's going to happen next. Of course, that is a simple explanation and I'll be making a more in-depth guide to improving game sense soon. But for now, that should help out quite a lot of you. Look at this mini clip, for example, moving up to this objective Enemies nowhere to be seen, I dink this guy, and enemies must be coming from inside. Instead of rushing in, I take them out one by one. By anticipating where they'll come from and adjusting my play styles to suit that, I'm usually better off. That is essentially game sense. Major tip for the breakthrough mode, particularly with 128 players, do avoid areas anywhere near the opposing team's initial spawns. These areas are very hot and very risky but they do pay off big time for those who get it right. Do take note of how I move around in these clips shown. I'm always trying to take a little section of the map if possible. Look at this streak, for example. I can't possibly rush out in the open and take on all these players. So I peek small parts, moving up piece by piece, and then finally, a nice little feed. See these players looking away? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've come across these. Never, never interrupt your opponent while they are making a mistake. Players tend to get caught up in trying to get kills and often leave themselves open to blind spots. Always be on the lookout for these. Often players are simply looking towards spawns or where the action tends to be. Keep this in mind. Pro tip to add here, players on objectives are often in similar spots, doing similar things. Once you start to realize this, you can begin to use this knowledge against your opponents. For example, if there's a spot where you can easily snipe from a tower, as you approach the map, keep this in mind and be ready for someone to be up there. Trust me, spend the whole game taking it slower and you'll notice how much more you pick up on what's going on around you and the mistakes you are making and those you could have made. Also, stick with your team as much as you can. Going solo in 2042, particularly in 128 player lobbies in Breakthrough, is significantly harder at times than what we've seen before. On streams and videos, you'll often see me taking risky flanks and plays and not always succeeding. That is just how I like to play the game. It is not always the best way to go, but it's fun. Whereas here, I'm pushing up with my team and we dominate the area. Teamwork, even if it's just one friend, can make such a huge difference. Make sure, as much as you can, you are being that team player. Whether it's revives, heals, ammo, or simply a flank. As much as people like to ignore it, getting kills and taking out the enemy is part of teamwork. Anyway, come join my Discord guys, plenty of players looking to squad there. More guides and tips to come. Do be sure to rate this video and come join me on stream sometime here on YouTube. Appreciate you guys watching, do be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.